there. I think we have a small misunderstanding because you know this is the third part of the trilogy. So, yeah, I'm not putting any effort in. You will, you know, you've seen the video one and you've seen video two, so of course you're gonna watch video three. You want to know how it ends, so I do not have to put any effort in. So, yeah, just enjoy the video or whatever. You still want a little bit of effort? And you have asked very politely. Okay, all right. Let's put a little bit of effort in. And with that, effort is given. Thank you so much for returning to the third part of this trilogy. And on the side note, do you know any trilogy in which the third movie is actually the best of the bunch? Because in preparation for this video, I kept thinking, of any trilogies that popped into my mind and I couldn't think of one where the third movie is actually the best. I can think of some where the second movie is the best and I'm uh, only saying that because I want uh, to bring Hot Fuzz back into our topic. Because I'm sure you haven't watched it yet. It is really important. I really want Simon Peck to notice me once. But this is really beside the point. If you can think of a trilogy where the third movie where the third movie is actually the best, could you please put a comment below because I'm really baffled that I cannot think of one. And somehow this is still beside the point. So I give you a little recap on what we have done in video one, video two. In this trilogy, we are visiting or we have visited three Japanese islands. In our first first video, we went from Tokyo to Hajijojima. Afterwards, we ran from Hachijojima to my personal favorite, Aogashima. And now in this video, we are going from Aogashima to... We are going from Aogashima... Uh, talking is really hard sometimes. We are going from Aogashima to Miyakejima and then return back to Tokyo. How we are going from Aogashima to Miyakejima? Of course, we are going by helicopter. <laughs> Again, in this very short uh, vacation time, maybe one, one and a half week, I've used the helicopter four times. It was basically like going by bus somewhere. And I kept keep thinking if this is how rich and famous people feel, because I felt kind of rich and famous, only my bank account didn't agree with me. And still does not agree with me. But this is another point. We are going uh, via helicopter to Miyakejima, spend some time there, and afterwards we are returning to Tokyo to the airport Shofu. And I didn't know, I'm, I live in Tokyo and I still didn't know about a Tokyo Shofu airport. This is actually an airport that goes only to some of the Izu Islands. And uh, I will show you how small it is when we return to Tokyo. I show you some clips of it. I was really baffled that there's another airport besides Haneda and Narita in Tokyo and I simply didn't know about. The more you know, I guess. So that's it, a very short intro for today. We are now heading over to the heliport in Aogashima, going to Miyakejima. I show you around Miyakejima and uh, tell you what kind of activities we are going to do. And afterwards, we are heading back to Tokyo. By the way, we are heading back to Tokyo by plane. However, it's not a normal plane. It's very small. It has around 20 seats. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to it or if I should be nervous, but I will show you that as well. And afterwards, I give you a quick summary on what islands um, I, I found the best. It, it's Aogashima. Who am I kidding? Aogashima was the best island. Is it too anticlimactic? Maybe. You still need to watch the end of this video, so... I will tell you a very fun fact by the end of the video. How about that? While you enjoy Miyakejima, I figure out a very fun fact. Okay? Deal? Perfect. See you soon.
and hello from the last island of our trip. We are here at our final guest house in Miyakejima. As you can see, the interior design screams childcare of the 90s. I feel quite nostalgic, I must say. But it's a nice guest house. The people are again very friendly. The location is pretty good and the price is decent. So I will put a link in the description. There's really nothing to complain about. Um, what are we going to do in Miyakejima? Of course, we are going hiking again. That's our thing, right? <laughs> we are staying here in the northern part of the island and we want to hike all the way to the southern part of the island, which is around 20 kilometers. However, the hiking experience should be a little bit different because even though there is a, a mountain or a volcano on this island, it is not possible to hike it all the way up top. In 2000, there was the last very big eruption of this volcano and it changed the landscape of this island quite a lot. The island was even evacuated from 2000 to 2005 due to the high amount of sulfur dioxide the volcano leaked after the eruption. And even now it is deemed unsafe to hike the volcano all the way up. And besides, if you really want to take the risk, uh, it is even then it is not possible to hike on top. Because the volcano, after the eruption, the top sank in, so there are no ways, uh, there are no hiking ways up top anymore. So, yeah, we have really no choice but to hike as far on top as we can and then surround it, so at least we have a great view on this mountain or on this volcano while we are hiking. At least uh, this is, I have high hopes for that. <laughs> but, yeah, let's see. So... In 2001, this was all lava. And far in the back, it's a volcano which we cannot climb up top. And I told you rubbish before. It is not from the eruption from 2001, but from 1983. Now you know. I'm very sorry. This is the view! Hello, oh, my full finger is in the view, well, <laughs> hello people, I've walked today for, let me show you, 21 kilometers, and look what I found, an onsen, so, well, who am I to question the ways of the universe, see you later.
Parkour! Parkour! This is Parkour. Internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond films. It's pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So technically, they are doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. And that was Miyakojima for you. Time flies by when we're having fun, right? We're already back in Tokyo again. Work is waiting around the corner. I think I'm already having post-vacation depression, but <laughs> that all doesn't matter. Let me tell you a little bit about my opinion to Miyakojima. In the end, uh, what Izu Island you visit always depends on what kind of activities you want to do. Because Miyakojima is very famous for scuba diving, so uh, most of the tourists are going there for this kind of activity. And since I haven't done that, I do not know if Miyakojima is maybe perfect for this kind of activity. For hiking, however, Miyakojima was not the best choice. I mean, yeah, landscape-wise, it is still very beautiful and very interesting to see how the whole landscape of this island was shaped by the different eruption throughout the years. This is very interesting, but it's still very flat. <laughs> There's no, um, no real mountain um, you can hike upon and therefore, yeah, I mean, I guess it also depends what kind of hiking you prefer. I prefer hiking in a mountain or hilly area, and Miyakojima is not that. Just be aware of that. Also, it was a little bit hard to find something to eat on this island. I mean, there's a supermarket, two supermarkets even, so you will be safe. Um, <laughs> however, uh, there were a lot of restaurants that were announced open in the internet, but were simply closed when you're there, or were uh, full, so no seats were available. So maybe make sure to call a restaurant before you're heading over, Especially if you, like me, do not have a rental car. So you have to walk like an hour to come to a restaurant and then find out that it's closed. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little hangry in between. <laughs> but if you know that, you just call beforehand and then you make a reservation, everything will be fine, I'm sure. Just be better prepared, that's all I want to say. Just don't be like me. <laughs> For me personally... Um, if I compare these uh, three islands, my personal best is still Aogashima. However, that doesn't mean that Hachijojima or Miyakojima is a bad choice. On the contrary, all three islands were very unique in their own way, um, which was very interesting to me because I thought, okay, three islands, they are not far off each other, so they are more or less the same. But it wasn't the case. The experience on each island was very different. And uh, to be honest, if I had missed one, I still would be sad to miss a very unique experience in this, in this case. So, yeah, I can recommend all. I still recommend Aogashima the most. I also promised you a fun fact. So, of course, I know you have watched the video up until this point only because you want to hear this fun fact. I get that. So, let me uh, tell you a fun fact. Did you know that Australia is wider than the moon? You're welcome. At the next party... You will impress the ladies, I'm sure. But yeah, that's it with vacation mode. The vacation is over, going back to working mode, what we are doing next week. I've seen you guys really enjoyed uh, the Barbie or Margot Robbie workout routine video. So I'm thinking of doing another uh, workout routine of another famous uh, woman role model. I'm pretty sure you all know who I'm talking about. No, seriously, do you? Because uh, then please give me some tips I do not know yet. But um, I'm pretty sure I will find another female role model. And we are doing a, a working routine of this female role model. So please have a great week. Watch Hot Fuzz. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.